My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. The Sunday immediately after Christmas is celebrated by the Church as the Holy Family Sunday. I think it is quite obvious that family life is connected with the celebration of Christmas. The Savior could have been given to us even without a family, as most of the myths before used to retell the stories. But in Christianity, this giving of the Savior took the family as an instrument where the same Savior may be read, formed, and instructed. Therefore, when we celebrate Christmas, we cannot but also speak about a family. As a matter of fact, most of us, when we celebrate Christmas, we go back to our families and we celebrate. Because we know, truly, that without the family, Christmas will be without meaning. And without Christmas, without the birth of Jesus Christ, we will never discover the depth of the meaning of family life. Here, we have the story of St. Luke recounting how Joseph, Mary, and Jesus went to Jerusalem. They did it every year, but this time, it has a very specific significance. Jesus was already 12 years old. Probably, it was the celebration of what the modern Jews would call the Bar Mitzvah, or that day when a young boy reads from the law, ushering his membership into the community. He was there as if taking an examination about the knowledge of their faith and the knowledge about the law of the Lord. But keep in mind, he was trained already in the family. The father and the mother, they were instrumental in teaching this boy who one day would become our Savior as he hanged on the cross. Obedience, therefore, was taught in the family. First and foremost, obedience to God. In the law that the Lord has given the people, the parents trained the little boy Jesus to follow all of this faithfully. Take note of how Luke recounts the story. You have here a family who is very faithful to the law and to the observance of the faith. They always went to Jerusalem every year. When Jesus answered the mother, Why were you looking for me? Don't you know that I have to be in my father's house? Or better yet, don't you know that I have to be concerned with my father's business? Jesus understood that the primary calling that he had was always to follow the mission and the plan given to him by the Heavenly Father. It was in the family that he learned all of these things. It was in the family that he became obedient and grew in wisdom and in the discernment of the will of God. More than ever, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our celebration of this Christmas tide must also bring home this message to each one of us. How we build the family, that is always the future of our society. If the family is built without God, then we cannot expect a society that is filled with the presence of the Lord. The values taught within a family, they will spell the values that most of us live out in our adulthood. We see this one in the story of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Jesus, too, took the time to learn these values within a family, learning perhaps the trade of his father, but also obedient to them, praying with them, being faithful to the Lord together with his family. My prayer, therefore, as we continue celebrating this Christmas season, I ask each one of you, especially among you who are parents, ask once more, 
whether each one of you have been faithful to this calling to become instruments for your people, for your children, to meet Christ along the way. The values of Christianity, as we call the church, as we consider each particular family as small churches, they're all taught within this particular context. And the more each family seeks for God, the more our society may find the light rooted on our faith. We pray for one another, pray for all families, pray for all parents, that they may be faithful to this mission. Marriage and family life is not just any calling. It is a mission to fulfill, to bring Christ in the hearts and in the lives of those people and of those children given to those who are called to be parents. I unite myself with you in prayer as the church prays also for all families so that we may be faithful to the law of the Lord, to His calling, to His plan as Jesus did until the cross. This is Father Ulrich here in the seminary the Convent of Franciscans, wishing you the peace of the Lord.